Good morning, it's Librarian Alicia, and I am here at my home with my two boys who are home from school. So I'm telecommuting right now. I am currently taking a course in EDI, or Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion. I'm also answering emails, doing some collection development, and catching up on some reading. Um, currently reading Red at the Bone by Jacqueline Woodson, and looking forward to starting The Leavers by Lisa Ko, which is also this month's book group selection for the Building Bridges book group. Um, that I manage, so I hope you'll pick up a copy of that. Uh, if you don't have a print copy, then you can certainly get a copy through the online resources that the library offers, so at link.org. Um, you can access through Cloud Library or Overdrive um, a copy of that book. Uh, we do a lot of audiobooks. The boys love to listen to audiobooks, and sometimes I need a break from reading. <laughs> so it, it's a great uh, resource to have. Um, there's also RB Digital that has a lot of great audiobooks and magazines, um, as well as you can get movies through Canopy, and we're looking forward to doing that later today. Um, there's also Creative Bug. You can uh, get a lot of great crafts and arts ideas from Creative Bug. I actually found a great design for a smock. I've been wanting to make a smock for a long time and uh, found a great design that's really easy to make, only takes about an hour. Uh, it has a great crisscross on the back so it doesn't pull on your neck and a big pocket on the front, so uh, a lot of fun. And uh, there's also line drawing, graphic arts classes, just all sorts of things that you can learn on there. Um, so check those out uh, during this time that we're all at, or many of us are at home um, and looking for ideas of ways to spend our time. Uh, lifelong learning is uh, a value, or something that I truly value and try to impress upon my kids and practice in my own life. And library res resources make it possible um, to continue lifelong learning. Uh, so do check them out. Uh, visit us at link.org and uh, we'll see you later.